First look at Awaken OS based on Android 12 running on the Xiaomi Mi 11X, the Poco F3 or the Redmi K40. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video and in this video we're going to have our first look at Awaken OS based on Android 12 running on the POCO F3, the Xiaomi Mi 11X or the Redmi K40. The security patch as you can see is from January 2022. The kernel they are using is Optimus Trunk, SE Linux is set as enforcing out of the box. You do get pixel launcher so here it is pixel launcher in the building and of course with pixel launcher you are able to share your link share your image copy the image all those things right away from your recents select works without any issues screenshot also works they have added the extra delete option at the bottom if i go into settings and here and i take a screenshot using the button combination i do have the option for capture more which should have opened up another pane for us wherein we can select what all content we want to capture so here it is one more time capture more and now i can use these nubs to select the content which i want to capture and of course you do have the magnification effect from android working without any issues next up let us have a look at our quick settings panel so this is how the quick settings panel is going to look like and you do have a bunch of different custom tiles which they have added so for starters you have separate mobile data and wi-fi tile then you have the caffeine tile always on display cpu info fps meter all those tiles are there along with your brightness slider and a button for your automatic brightness if you try to edit your tiles you can of course add more tiles in case you want to use some of the other tiles which are available you also have the screen recorder option so let us go ahead and try that out so here it is they have added a bunch of different options for the screen recording option you can of course record device audio and microphone at the same time and let us see if there's any lag in the ui when you start the screen recorder so the screen recorder has started let us see if you have any lag in the ui when the screen is being recorded and no there is no lag in the ui when the screen recording is going on next up let us have a look at how the power menu is going to look like so this is how the power menu looks like and this here is how your volume panel is going to look like of course at a glance is working without any issues we can also press and hold go into home settings and here it is these are your at a glance settings from pixel launcher which are available to you then we can also go into the widgets section and of course once you have updated all your applications from the play store you do get the new clock widget and similarly if we go into the google application you do get the new weather widgets as well along with the new photo widget also then jumping back into the settings for wallpapers and style this of course here you can change your application grid now you can choose 6x6 6x7 and a bunch of other options then you also have a toggle for themed icons dark theme you can configure your wallpaper accent color for material you go into change wallpaper you do have a bunch of different wallpaper options available over here now what i see missing is the pixel 6 exclusive bloom wallpapers but once you go ahead and change your wallpaper material you is going to kick in and your accent color for your power menu the volume panel the quick settings panel everything adapts to the new material you we can also go ahead and enable the dark theme to have a look at how the ui looks with dark theme enabled so this here dark theme is pitch black it's not like grayish shade and then this here is how your quick settings panel is going to look like this is your volume panel and i think that might be an issue because or that looks good i think that looks good and then this here is your volume panel so that is how the ui is going to look like once you have enabled the dark theme on your awaken os next up let us open the application drawer and see if system wide search is working so bam there it is system wide search is working without any issues and you can of course go into preferences and configure what all content you want to see in the system wide search then this here is your settings 
page nothing much to talk about in network and internet and connected devices let us jump over to applications choose any application go into permissions so here in you will notice that they have added a few new options like network access and then sensor access and if you go into location you do have a toggle to enable or disable your precise location for that application then you also have a toggle to remove the permissions if the app is not used for some time and once that is done it is going to show up in the unused apps section but something which is missing is your game dashboard now surprisingly if i search for game dashboard previously i was getting the option for game dashboard but it would crash the settings page but now i am no longer getting the option for game dashboard so game dashboard is something which is missing going into notifications you of course have your per app notification notification history is present along with priority conversation and bubbles do note whatsapp does not support bubbles right now then you also have the option of your heads up you have a toggle for saner heads up and then you can configure your heads up timeout your snooze timer what apps have access and what apps do not have access to heads up you also have something called notification log now this is going to show you some notifications which would be missing in your notification history then you have toggles for all the other options which you see on your screen right now along with toggles for charging battery light and the low battery light then we can jump over to battery so here in of course you do have your per app thermal profiles and here on screen are the different options which you can choose on a per app basis battery usage the idle battery drain i think is pretty dope there it is you can see almost a straight line overnight it was like one or two percent battery drain if not maybe even less then you have your battery saver along with the pixel exclusive battery saver and scheduling those battery savers and battery manager or adaptive battery is also present next up we have sound so in sound you of course have your different sliders for the different volume levels then you have a toggle to link and unlink the ring and notification volume in case you want increasing ring volume you have a toggle for that once you enable it the sliders below that are enabled then you can change your phone ringtone as well and you also have vibrate for calls if you go into vibration intensity you can configure your vibration intensity for notifications ring and haptic feedback a pretty nifty feature along with ringtone vibration patterns this is something which is similar to oxygen os ringtone vibration patterns then you have a shortcut to prevent ringing and toggles for all the different options my favorite toggle over here is the option to disable the screenshot sound then you have your in-call vibration toggles for vibrate on connect call waiting and disconnect along with the option of clear speaker next up we have display so in display you can of course configure your brightness level you have a toggle for adaptive brightness go into lock screen here and you can of course add a text to the lock screen you have a toggle for lock screen charging info and if you do not like the android 12 big clock you have a toggle to force the small clock as well and bam there it is small clock in the building working without any issues you have a toggle to enable or disable your always on display pulse notifications by a double tap wake the screen for new notifications ambient music ticker is there along with your showing the media art on the lock screen configure the blur level for the media art and music visualizer so all these customization options pretty cool pretty dope then you have your screen timeout so yes you do have the screen attention toggle over here and you can configure your dark theme schedule it you can change the font size and they also give you a bunch of different system wide font options as well then you can change the icon pack as well so right now we are using the circular icon pack and you can always say change it to the filled one and now bam there it is you can see that the wi-fi icon changed to the filled one similarly you can switch over to sam or you can use whichever one you want to then you can change the font size the dpi and yes you have custom monet theming engine as well so in case you do not want to use the accurate shades you have a toggle for that if you want to disable the wallpaper color and this is how my accent color looks right now let us go into accent color picker apply this one 
and bam there it is you can see that the color change has applied we can switch over to the blue one as well and now we have the blue accent color then you have a slider to configure the colorfulness as well and there it is you can see the colorfulness effect and if you want to use a custom lightness scale you have a slider for that as well so all these customizations are present and working without any issues then you have your night light you can schedule it you can change the intensity all those options colors yes you can switch between natural boosted saturated and adaptive and all of them are working then you can configure your rgb strength as well using the sliders and again as you just saw it is working auto rotate screen is there along with face detection and yes you can use 120 60 whatever you want to use so 120 hertz refresh rate is working without any issues unfortunately no 90 hertz option then you have toggles for prevent accidental wake up double tap to wake going to display customizations you can of course customize your battery style bunch of different options do you want the battery estimates in your expanded quick settings panel or not then you can configure your clock settings and as you can see i do have a custom clock in my status bar right now then you can configure what all items you want to see in the status bar and toggles for all these different options which you see on your screen right now and yes you can move your brightness slider to the top of your quick settings panel in case you want to so right now we are at the bottom let us disable this toggle and bam brightness slider has now moved to the top then you also have network speed customization as well along with always on when charging for your ambient system customization and yes ambient edge lighting is there you can change the colors the duration a bunch of different customization options are available for that as well and in case you have any touch issues you can increase the touch responsiveness as well and before i forget double tap to sleep on the status bar double tap to wake all these options are working like a boss on this build next up we have security so unfortunately no face unlock right now and if you set up a screen lock go into the settings you can scramble the pin layout you also have quick unlock wherein as soon as you enter the correct pin the device is going to unlock automatically and then you also have your secure quick setting tiles require unlocking if you want to hide the quick settings in lock screen and disable the power menu in the lock screen so here it is we are on the lock screen press and hold power button nothing happens try to access the quick settings i can only see my notifications pin layout is scrambled let me enter my pin as soon as i enter the correct pin it is unlocked and of course the fingerprint scanner works without any issues the only downside is that you only have touch to unlock you do not have press to unlock then we have privacy so in privacy you of course have a dashboard which is going to show you what all applications have accessed your sensors then you have toggles to enable or disable your system wide camera access and microphone access and do note you also have quick setting tiles for both these options along with your toggle to enable or disable the clipboard access showing next up we can jump over to system so in system you of course do have live translate works without any issues going to gestures you can quickly open the camera by pressing the power button twice system navigation three different options and for gestures you can swipe to invoke the assistant in case you want to then you have your sensitivity for the edges you can configure the pill length you have the toggle for haptic feedback for the back gesture and in case you want to hide the pill enable the full screen gestures toggle and bam the pill can be hidden and you get the full immersive experience then you have one handed mode and it works without any issues press and hold power button for assistant feature is there once you enable this to turn off your device you will have to use your quick settings menu along with that in your power menu you also have your advanced restart which you can configure from settings system gestures here it is the toggle to enable advanced restart then you also have three finger screenshot once you enable this bam there it is three finger screenshot working without any issues now one feature which i personally miss is the ability to hide this back arrow i do hope they add it 
down the line then you also have your double tap to sleep on the status bar which we already checked volume rocker wake and reorient the volume buttons when the device is rotated you also have something called rules so herein you can configure say i am leaving my home i want the wi-fi to be turned off bluetooth to be turned on that is something which you can configure in rules next up let us talk about safety net so this here is the google play store and as you can see play protect certification device is certified this means that safety net is passing and you will be able to use your banking apps without any issues then with respect to youtube media playback everything works absolutely fine live caption works live translate works like a boss with respect to picture in picture either you need to have youtube premium or you need to be in a specific country in case you do not want to pay for youtube premium now with respect to your google photos surprise surprise you do get unlimited original quality from this specific rom on google photos if i go ahead and try to edit a picture of my favorite football star over here and we of course have to wait for the loading bar to finish doing its job once that is done going to tools portrait light bam here it is portrait light in the building working without any issues of course do note that portrait light only works on human objects it is not going to work on my chicken friend over here and unfortunately you do not have the feature of magic eraser now with respect to the assistant lady she is there and she works without any issues with the screen turned on and with the screen turned off as well now with respect to your pixel 6 exclusive features we already talked about the fact that your live translate is working in youtube without any issues now with respect to live transcription again here it is you can see i am enabling it and it was working but once i updated some apps from the play store it has since stopped working so that might be an issue which needs to be addressed then the other thing is if you're trying to use your voice typing while messaging then also you do not get the new pixel exclusive assistant voice typing now with respect to your interpreter mode in google assistant that feature is present and it works without any issues so yes some work needs to be done with respect to your pixel 6 exclusive features because they are working absolutely fine on this very rom on the poco f1 next up let us have a look at the app opening animations to see if you have any lags or any jitters in the ui and as you can see there are no lags no jitters in the ui everything is pretty smooth and all this is being done at 120 switching between applications again no issues no lags nothing like that everything is working absolutely fine recent bam here it is super fast and super smooth google feed let us try that also once the content has cached there are are no lags and no jitters now this here there it is you can see everything is pretty smooth once the content has cached and your transition from the feed to the home screen is pretty smooth as well so what is the final take on awaken os well there are some minor issues which do need to be addressed and what awaken os for the poco f3 or the mi 11x needs right now is some polishing and some work on that pixel 6 exclusive features not working but other than that the rom is pretty smooth the battery backup looks pretty good so all in all another great rom available for the poco f3 the mi 11x or the redmi k40 and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you